back down. Rashi Rice's attorney, State Senator Royce West, provided more details about Rice's involvement in a chain reaction crash that was last Saturday evening on Central Expressway in Dallas. Rice was driving a Lamborghini SUV leased from an exotic car rental company, which apparently was racing a Corvette owned by Rice. The occupants of both cars left the scene without determining whether anyone needed medical attention or providing information. Royce West said that why Rice left is, quote unquote, a good question that's still being investigated. West also said that Rice will, quote, do everything in his power to bring life back to as normal as possible in terms of injuries, in terms of property damage. The crash left four people with minor injuries. Rashi Rice posted on Instagram that he takes full responsibility for the crash and is now fully cooperating with authorities. So Keyshawn, you know Rashi. How will this thing play out? Well, number one, let's just, everybody is, is you know, pretty safe and, and healthy and Absolutely. nothing serious yeah. with the injury side, side of things. Now we got that over with. It'll play out, he won't, he, in my opinion, he won't serve any jail time. Okay, he might, he may get probation. He definitely will miss some games this year. How many games? That'll be, you know, maybe it'll be three, maybe it'll be four, whatever the case yep. is. His pockets will certainly get lighter over the next couple of years because I, right now I'm my back hurt. Okay, silver suit will take silver place. Silver suits will ensue. It, it, yeah. it will take mm -hmm. place. Yep. His pockets will be. Light. Mm -hmm. He's he's still a a young man from a mental standpoint. Okay, his brain is not fully developed. <laughs> he has not gotten to the point in life where he is going to make adult decisions. Yep. He's still making teenager, young college boy decisions, mm -hmm. and that'll eventually pass. This will be a lesson <clears throat> for him, and hopefully, he will learn from this lesson how serious it is. Um, but I don't, I don't see him doing any, any jail time. I mean, he hired, I mean, he's going to have a nice, nice, uh, defense, uh, attorneys surrounded around him that knows all the, you know, the trimmings and how to make it to the point where it's right. Um, you could just tell how Senator West is having that conversation right now in the public. Yep. He's setting it up for it to be a certain way. Yep. Um, doesn't excuse anything, his behavior doesn't excuse anything. And he will reevaluate the individuals that were with him, that were around him. He will go back into that saying, you know what, man, I gotta, I gotta slow this down because this is the first opportunity for me to really squander my career. Yep. And his career is important. It's very important, not only to him, but also his family, his kids. You know, so I, that's how I see it. I see a, a lawsuit coming, a suspension coming, and possibly a little probation. Mm. And by the way, you have not heard back from him? No, I haven't heard back from him. Okay. Not at all. Well, as a, as a former professional athlete, Skip and mm. Key, you know, I mean, as a young player, bright future, he's in a great culture. You know, the Kansas City Championships. Hopefully, this is what you hope. As a young player, you learn from this. Definitely was a mistake. You surround yourself around veterans on the team or people you trust or people you look up to to help you just visualize the mistakes that you make, mistakes that you don't want to make again, and embrace that because he has a bright future. He's going to be the future of the Kansas City receiving core, hopefully. And if I'm on the Kansas City Chiefs, I'm going to reach out to him. Hopefully they provided this type of culture to where you you bring in the young guys. You know, me being on the team, when I saw a young guy who was into some stuff, going out too much, getting caught, maybe almost got a DUI, getting into it with other girls and stuff, I, I brought him in. Like, look, this is what you need to do. You don't want to squander your future. And this is what team is all about. So hopefully he can find that within his teammates to say, hey, you got away with one because you almost could have ended up in a rug situation mm -hmm. where he was looking at three to 10 years like rugs. You escaped. So surround yourself around some veteran guys that can just be like, yo, you got away with one, it might not happen again the next time, and move on from this. Yep. 
And so I pray for the families that were injured, the people who are involved in all this, and hopefully that, you know, everybody comes out healed. Luckily, nobody was killed. But this is a learning experience as a professional athlete. All right. You have too much at risk. Okay, so give us this perspective. You were obviously involved in an incident early in your career that right. you did not start, but you were involved in it, and it nearly cost you your life. My life. Okay, yep. what did you learn from that night? It just put everything in perspective, Skip. It was just like, man, I have, I'm young. I'm only in my third year. I have a bright future out here. What am I doing wasting my time, putting myself in a position to where I can lose not only my life, but everything I've worked for? You know, and it helped me grow up fast. It helped me just be thankful for the family, the people I got close to me. And it was just like, you know what? I need to step away from all this for a little while, focus on my career and, and get to the level I want to get to. So it, it's really humbling. You know, he didn't have to go through what I got through, nearly death, death. Near death. <laughs> nearly death. Nearly squandering what I could provide for my family. Yep. So hopefully this is a learning lesson that you're a bright future. Let's move on from that, learn from your mistakes. And let's grow up. Yeah. Okay, so I look at this from a distance, and it's easy for me and a lot of other people to sit back and say, Rashi, what are you thinking? Because clearly, he wasn't thinking. Clearly, he's 23 years of age. He's not been through anything like this. He's still, in a lot of ways, childlike. Mm -hmm. And he's just having fun. He's doing what kids do. Yep what I did occasionally, and he's, I assume, was street racing, and they were just messing around, having fun on a Saturday evening, and you're playing with, quote, unquote, toys that are lethal, because those cars with those engines are lethal, and he is so blessed that nobody lost their life, including him and his guys that he was right. with, whoever was in the Corvette and who was in the Lamborghini. It looked like there might have been six of them or so, and they're all lucky that they walked away from that because it looked like they literally walked away, right? Yeah, oh well, yeah. Pff, wow, how, how blessed was that? You know that you know that highway well, just like I do, I Skip. do. They got the medium there that's yeah. concrete, and they got a wall that is, it looks like a prison wall. It's so damn tall and yeah. thick. You know, it just, you're just glad that, that it didn't happen like we've seen many other car accidents in the past where somebody's lost their life. That's the, that's the one key thing from all of this. And it, look, the Kansas City Chiefs organization, from a football standpoint, they are one of the few organizations that know how to handle situations in guys that have checker past in, in college and True. red flags. They're the one organization that, you know, somewhat sticks their neck out there mm -hmm. to take a chance they on do. someone, you know, to clean it up. Tyreek, Ty Ty Travis yeah. Kelsey. Tyreek Hill had yeah. an incident in college, mm -hmm. but he also had incidents at the Kansas City Chiefs. He did. While he was playing for them, similar to Rasheed Rice, they figured out how to mitigate that situation, calm it down, to get him to reshift re mm -hmm. his focus yep. to what the most important things were, was playing football and making money for your family. And then eventually he clicked, and the rest was history for him. Yep. And I believe that'll be the same for Rasheed. So look, can he have a Paul Pierce moment and sit back and, and grasp the fact how, how blessed he is yeah. to be catching passes from the best quarterback in football <laughs> after there's no Tyreek where you stepped into the void and you became the guy? Obviously, Travis Kelsey is the, the dominant receiver, but in the wide yeah, He's the he number two pass catching guy for him. For the Kansas City the Chiefs, Chiefs? You, yeah. just... you know what they need to do? They need to implement, I talked to former players about this, you know what they need to implement? They need to implement a big brother program of former players. Because when you come into the league as a young player, you got money, you never had money before, and, and you have all this time on your hand, it's not like college to where in the summer you're doing this. You can reach out to them. They could be like a mentorship program, because we see this every year we in do. all sports. We do. And I wish they could implement a big brother program with guys like Keyshawn, who play, who've been through, you know, the been through the league, myself, uh, 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 and, and just somebody Keyshawn, you can talk you, to. You, you do do some of that. No, I'm messing with Paul. Don't volunteer me, man. Yeah. My no, head is blown. But, but you real. volunteer yourself. No, I, I try. I try as much as I can. Yeah. It's very. It's well, very. You spend difficult. some time with this kid. Yeah. Right, it's very. Exactly. It's very difficult because what happens. Yeah, I, I spend time. I spend time with a lot of kids a lot of youngsters, to just right? try to get them to really understand the bigger picture. But what happens in this situation is you get the agents involved, 
and yep. you get the friends involved. Now, all of a sudden, they feel threatened that individuals like myself that is trying to really legitimately yeah. help their mm -hmm. ass yeah. is trying to take them away from them and drive a wedge between them. Mm -hmm. Well, all I'm trying to get you to do a good is realize, mm -hmm. much like I was, I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, okay? And in, in, in was poor as dirt at the end of the day. Hit pay dirt, pockets full of money. But, you but I wasn't going to allow my I wasn't going to allow my friends yeah to disrupt that. But but you went through your you incidents know? in oh, yeah. junior college. Okay, and, yeah. Right? yeah, and you learned from that. But yeah. as I became successful, I were not going to allow other people to derail that. It was because I, I like eating lobster and steak. Okay, <laughs> that's the bottom line. Because if you derail that, you're not going to be able to eat a lobster or a steak because mm -hmm. I'm paying for it. Mm -hmm. So if I get my ass in trouble because we out there doing something wrong, yep. therefore, we all in trouble. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting ready to lose all sorts of benefits, and so are you. But what happens is the guys don't see that. So it's very difficult and it's hard to try to penetrate that when you got the agents over here scared that you want to take them from them, yep. and they don't have any control over them anymore. So what they tend to do, Skip, is they tend to tell the kid, eh, I don't listen to those guys. They don't, they're, they're, they don't know what they're talking about. You know, and then that's just... <laughs> I know that voice. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. But that's the truth, mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. and, that, that, and that's the, the problem that you see happens. Mm -hmm. And what you try to get a lot of these kids to understand is not only are you going to be paying somebody, you're also going to be paying these damn lawyers. And yeah. these lawyers don't come cheap <laughs> to defend you. One way or another. Okay, they're going to get you one way or another. Okay? By making these mistakes. Mm -hmm. You're paying them, Plus, you're paying the people that's getting ready to sue you. So you you double dipping. Senator West will not come cheaply representing Rashi here. No. Right? Mm -mm. No. And by the way, his quote that I read to open this, that Rashi will do everything in his power to bring their life back to as normal as possible, I can translate that into cha-ching for those, <laughs> those civil suits, right? Absolutely. Because he's going to have to pay the pipers. He's going to have to pay them all. I right? told you my back hurt. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that's it. I, 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 every yeah. time I see a black Lamborghini, I, 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 I go in this hides and sweat. <laughs> I'm just telling you what they gonna say. What gonna say. <laughs> I'm just, I'm being honest, right. man. This is right. what people, you know how I go. Oh, every right, time right. I see a black Lamborghini, I just, I, I run for the hills. Right. They go, you know, they gonna try to take go to work for a year. I can't go to work for a year. They gonna try to take you to the okay. cleaners. So to your point, leaving the scene of an accident, is punishable by up to five years in prison. I don't think that's going to happen here because, fortunately, for this very young man, nobody died. Nobody and, died. And there were no, I, I don't think there were any serious, they're all said to be minor injuries. I don't know yeah. the exact details. Two went to the hospital. Yeah. But again, pretty fortunate here, all things considered. Yeah, they claim them as minor injuries. Yeah. What's minor injuries to us That's may be saying, massive yeah. injuries to somebody else. Could be. And you to know? your psyche, as you put it. Exactly. That's important. <laughs> right? That's important. <laughs> you gotta think about yeah. it now. When you out there speeding and driving and racing and yeah. doing all of those sort of things, you gotta think that if you get into an accident or you harm somebody, they gonna come for your pockets. Yeah. I just hope this still very young man goes north from here instead of mm -hmm. south. Right. And the odds are he will go north. Let's, let's hope yeah, so. Let's yeah. hope so. All right, we got to talk NBA. Haven't yet. Would you believe that a non-playing Houston Rocket trolled the Warriors and just set them off last night? What? Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.